5 things experts are not telling you about LiveScope, also known as forward-facing sonar. Okay, you can cast about 10 We have over 300 fishing videos on our YouTube channel. Fishing for tarpon, redfish, flounder, trout, and much more. Thank you again for watching. It's like a video game. That's impressive. It really is. <laughs> we also have many videos on forward-facing sonar on our YouTube channel at Jeff Battlefish. Live scope experts are not telling you everything. Look at them, look at them. That's what I like about resellers, but you can cut a lot of use. I'm here to help you understand the real costs of forward-facing sonar and your expectations for your success at its use on the water. Thing one, it's expensive. Bundles start at $3,700. Live scope alone is $1,700. Thing two, it's expensive, again. Elevated chart plotter mounts can range from $250 to over $350. It's recommended to install lithium ion batteries, so you may as well go lithium for your trolling motor too. Over $800, and a new lithium ion battery charger at $450. If you want to see where your live scope is pointing on your chart plotter, you will need a heading sensor like the Garmin Steadicast. $250 including cables for all your network chart plotters. Thing 3. Casting accuracy. You need to be a very accurate caster. Hitting a target far away and close up while your boat is moving. Using live scope is hunting not fishing. We tracked this tarpon for 20 minutes and on the 4th cast the bait past in front of it and it took the bait. If you have your live scope set up correctly you can see your bait and this does help with your casting accuracy. Thing 4. You need a remote controlled trolling motor to be able to track fish once you find them or to search for fish. Using your trolling motor to troll an area hunting for fish, oftentimes you need to stop and turn around and with wind and current, it can be very difficult to stay on the target fish. A remote controlled trolling motor and a foot pedal can really help you stay on the fish you are targeting. Here we were trolling along at almost 2 miles an hour when we spotted tarpon near the seawall. We stopped the boat and turned around and got a chance to cast to the fish. Thing 5. Time on the water is critical to being able to identify what you see on your chart plotter. What is a fish versus a log on the bottom or other structure? There are a lot of uncatchable fish where I fish so it takes time to figure out what is a catchable fish. I hope this helps you understand what you may not have been told about LiveScope. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, like and comment. We have over 300 fishing videos on our YouTube channel, fishing for tarpon, redfish, flounder, trout, and much more. Thank you again for watching.